All right, welcome back to Daily Mass Concepts. Um, today, what we want to look at is um, we want to look at some grade eight um, geometry. All right, so we want to look at some grade eight geometry. So geometry. So this aspect of geometry that I'm going to be looking at has to do with triangles and their total interior angles. Right. So let us say that we have a triangle. All right. It is said that if I should take, let's say we call this A, B, C. So the interior angles of this triangle, we have one angle here at A, an angle here at B, and an angle here at C. Let us say we want to give these labels like ideas, like let us say this angle, I'm going to call this, um, I'm going to call this X degrees, and I'm going to call this Y degrees, and I'm going to call this Z degrees. Now, one of the fundamental principles of a triangle is that its interior angle And when we say interior, I'm referring to the total interior angle will add to give 180 degrees. So then this principle can guide us in understanding how to calculate missing angles. So the idea is that the X degrees plus Y degrees plus Z degrees will come to 180 degrees. That's the total interior angle of a triangle. Now, with this fact, we can actually solve problems surrounding um, triangles with missing angles, right? So for example, let us say I have another triangle here. And this triangle here, uh, we have, let us say we have 80 degrees here at M. This is L, N. And this angle here is X degrees. We don't know that. But we definitely know that this angle here is 30 degrees. Now, what we're suggesting is that we're able to find the angle at L. So if I want to find the measure at the angle, L, then this is going to be finding out what's going on here. So we're talking about 180 degrees minus the sum of the 80 plus the 30 degrees. So we want to add the angle here at M plus the angle at N together, and that will give 110. So basically, we're going to take 110 from 180 and we're going to get 70. So it means then that the measure of the angle at L is 70 degrees. All right, let's try another. The idea still remains that we're mingling some algebra with these, but the concept is that the angle at A plus the angle at B plus the angle at C, when we add all of those interior angles, the total is 180 degrees. So then we are suggesting that if we should put this concept together, 2x degrees plus 15 degrees plus 92 degrees should add to give us 180 degrees. So that's the idea. What we're suggesting here is simply that all of these angles at A, B, and C, they add together to give the total of 180. Now, with that fact, we can now say, guess what? Let's put this together. 2x degrees plus the 15 plus the 92, the 15 plus the 92, 
that's going to give us 107. And this is still equal to 180. So what we're doing now, we're employing some algebra as we go forward. How do I isolate? How do I isolate my 2x? I'm simply going to subtract. I will be subtracting 107 from both sides, right? So 180 degrees minus 107, and that is the 73 degrees. So 2x is now equal to 73 degrees. So if I want to find a value for x, this is not x, this is 2x. So I'm going to divide by 2, divide by 2. So dividing that 72 by 2, then the value of x is 36.5 degrees. So that's the value of x. So sometimes we'll get problems like those, but the idea is still rest on the fact that the total interior angle adds to give 180 degrees. Let's try another example. The diagram is not drawn to scale, right? So that means we can't look to say that x look bigger than 2x and stuff like that. The principle of the geometry is what we're going to be using. And the principle says that the angle at P, which is 2x, plus the angle at R, which is x, plus the angle at Q, which is 3x, they should add together to give the total interior of 180 degrees. As you can see, we're using algebra again. Let's add these variables. So 2x plus x plus 3x is a 6x, which is equal to 180 degrees. So we are trying to find a value for x, which means that all we're going to do now is to divide throughout by, divide throughout by 6. 6 cancel here, and 6 into this goes 30 times. Therefore, x is equal to 30 degrees. Now, on the fact that x is equal to 30 degrees, I, um, if there is a follow-up question of which I'll give, what if we want to find the value of all the angles at P, Q, and R? and then test it to see if they'll add back to give 180 degrees. Let's find the value of the angle at P. So the value of the angle at P is 2x. But remember, x is equal to 30. So 2 times 30 would mean that the angle at P is 60 degrees. Let's look at the angle at R. The angle at R is x, and x is equal to 30 degrees. The angle at Q is equal to 3x. Now, x is equal to 30, so it's 3 times 30, and that will give us 90 degrees. So finally, let's put it together. Let us see if the angle at, let's see if the angle at P plus the angle at R plus the angle at Q, which would have been all of these angles that we have here, let's see if they add to give 180 degrees. 60 plus 30 plus 90 does equal to 180 degrees. So that we're seeing that the total interior angle of any triangle will add to give 180 degrees. So that's it for now. See you next time.